going around the villages at the beginning of our Tukari program, helping the villagers understand the importance of conservation and what the deforestation was actually doing to harm them. I will never forget when Lillian and I went to one of these villages and he'd acquired one of these huge satellite imagery maps and we laid it out and the villagers were sitting around it and their excitement was absolutely fantastic. There was one woman saying, that's the tree where I put my baby when I'm working in the fields. And another man was saying, no, we can see our sacred sites, this tree and this rock. And I remember one woman and she said, well, I used to do my farming on this hillside and she pointed to it. And she said, but then all the trees went away and there was this terrible landslide which showed on the map you could see where the, the mud had slid down and there was no vegetation left on either side. So she said, now I understand. Now I know that it's worth walking a whole extra hour in the morning to get to a place where I can cultivate the land without causing this terrible destruction of the environment. And it works both ways. Sometimes you show a lush forest and then you show how a few years later it's devastated. There's just a few burnt stumps. But on the other hand, there are other images which show you a devastated landscape in one image. And then five years later, trees coming back, regeneration, new hope, new life. So the stories that you can tell around the images, along with the images, make something very, very powerful. And you need both to make the kind of impact that we need to make today to help people understand the devastation we've caused, but to give them hope that we can turn things around. And that's what these satellite images show so clearly.